Okay. What's up, guys? Vapor Jeeper here. Red Nerva, what's up? Tonight is going to be the Stingray, or at least my pieces of the Stingray. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm using the yeah, AEDs while we do it. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, so guys, we're reviewing today the 26650 uh, fake copper Stingray. Uh, I say fake because this thing is definitely not copper. It's not. Or the uh, in caps. Um, the tube, by all means, is definitely not copper. We've proved it already by scratching the inside tube. Um, well, if you actually look and, down at where they didn't do the anodizing, you can tell it's steel. I mean, it's it's yeah. obvious. I mean, the real one is meant to be a copper tube where that orange inlay is actually supposed to be the copper showing through from the actual tube. I mean, but you know what? We saw reviews before this that people were getting that version. I know there's a couple versions out there. But, I mean, we got, what, the second, like, one of the second runs anyways. Yes, we did. We did. We got one of the second runs. And, and I had we... problems from day one. Yes, you did. And Nerva, why don't you talk to, to the people out there on YouTube world about some of your problems. So that way when I go over my side of my experience with the Stingray, people understand it's about a 50 50 shot. Well, the good part is we did find out if you do stack the magnets, you put you double the magnets, you can stand it up just like the Hades and you don't have to like keep locking and locking. But the bad part is the pin that holds the bottom together so it doesn't like unscrew and screw, you know, when you screw it in. Mine, well, most of them, actually. I guess the first one was worse than the second one, but the first one, our version, the pin is too small. So when you turned it, when you fired, that pin sometimes would get lodged. So I would fire, and it would get stuck in the on position, just auto-firing. And I would had to, like, pull it and unscrew it or do something to get it undo so I didn't completely ruin my battery and everything. I mean, I burnt out a couple of the... Uh, the Atomizers doing it, but nothing you can just rewick with cotton. But I mean, there's a, and even if you look at the pin, I don't know, but like, why wouldn't you groove that? Because it's a pain in the ass even to get that screw back in there each time because you have to put your thumb in yes. and really try. And it's not like you can't do it, but I mean, I, we, we tried, I tried several things. I mean, uh, a 16 gauge needle is slightly bigger and it fits in the hole, it worked for a couple days, and then that started having problems. I eventually drilled it out, putting a 14-gauge needle in, and I worked for a couple days, then didn't, you know, then it's give me shit. Um, it would unscrew itself, that, you know, that little, um, you know, the actual pin would actually unscrew itself. Uh, it kept auto-firing. The top cap, eventually, there's a Delrin insulator, you know, holding in your little... That eventually just that just slides in and out with ease. Now, I sure I could tack it with some glue, and, and I tried to figure out ways to fix the bottom, but I just the mod is pretty much deconditioned for me within a matter of what within a month. I mean, we 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 put it through its paces, and it hits great when it worked. It's one of the hardest hitting twenty six sixty three mods I had when it worked. But, like I said, I had problems since day one, and it seems like it's a pretty much a reoccurring thing. I guess the first version was even worse. I guess they were saying that the pin was even shorter. The pin's not big enough, and it doesn't work. It it, it, it wobbles, and it just gets stuck. So, now Brandon has two, though. Cause we got I got mine from VP Mods. They're, they're nothing against them. It's China Manufacturing. It's China, you know, Q&A. Or not q and I'm sorry. Quality Control or Quality Assurance, whatever you want to call it. It's not them, but they, you know, they've been doing a lot of like some of the new stuff, like the Tobes, and they did the the other copper version, the actual like copper tube. Yep. I, I see no point in getting the copper tube because it's the bottom button I have a problem with, you know. Yep. But you have and, two and, of them, right? Well, yeah. Speaking on that, um, I actually have my uh, right now. I was just vaping the plastic version I have, but here is the same mod uh, that Nerva had um, right here, and mine still functions, um, and. Uh, I gotta tell you, the threading on this device for me, and again, Nerva had a difference of a, of a situation than I had. Me threading flawless. The uh, top cap, I love the design where the top cap actually disassembles so you can clean it. 
Uh, so it's two pieces versus the uh, brass stingray, and the original stingray didn't do that. Um, again, the, the uh, locking ring never gets locked or never gets stuck. Nerva actually had to remove his for that reason. <coughs> um, and uh, like Nerva said, we did double stack uh, the batter the magnets that came with them were not strong enough to hold the mod up by itself, so it auto fire. So what we did is we got the Nemesis magnets, put them on top of the uh, stock magnets that came with it, and it made it where it was a, a strong enough stand or uh, reverse reverse polarity or whatever to make it where it would stand on its own weight. Um, I have the APO on here, the copper APO, and I'll take a vape for you guys to show you guys how it vapes. I mean, yeah, when you do that, I don't know, but, but like my threading, look at it. it didn't fire. Right on the show, it didn't fire. Go figure. Right but my it. threading is completely black coated too. But I know Brandon's got one. His is like was half cleaned and. What a horrible vape! It, it, that's that's the problem with this thing, guys. I'm just going to tell you, um, on this run, this design, basically what they did is they got like half of a Stingray button and half of a Nemesis button put it together in one combination and it does not work. It just does not work. Um, the pin that locks the device in place so it won't turn or unlock itself is absolutely useless in this situation because the way they designed it, the top screw uh, just unscrews itself. It, it's not locked in place like it would be like on your Stingray or your Nemesis. But if you take um, that it, pin out, it'll just keep turning. You won't be able to screw yes. it in. I mean, yeah, and here, look, I'll, I'll show you guys real quick. It, it, listen to this, okay? It, listen to this click. I'll put it next to my microphone. There, there it goes. It got stuck. Now it's completely stuck, locked on. Yeah. It, it's just, it's a really Now, is flawed it the pin, design. though, or is that the mag that's getting stuck? It, no, it's the pin. It's the pin shaking around. Because this one, the pin's starting to shake around in it. Yeah, because if, and, you, if you actually f feel the top and the bottom, you can actually feel the pin wobbling around and that was the problem it kept getting lodged in the in the fire position yep but like i said i had so, problems problem since day one i even like told them like listen people are going to complain just tell them the 16 gauge needle worked and that worked for like a good week and a half the first time no mind you, I there other mods in the meantime but so that time it worked um because i hit it right in the very center that's the biggest problem i'd say those two problems. The pin is way too small. It's literally half the size of a Stingray pin in an 18650 mod. I'm telling you guys, this mod weighs double, if not triple, the amount of the brass Stingray clone. And this mod, that pin is half the size. It does not function. It's a horrible design for the button. Uh, but I will say, as far as the device functionality is the way it hits when it's working, because what I found is if you hit it right in the center, like if I hit this button right in the center, you can hear it. It fires every single time, and I don't have any problems with it. I traditionally don't use my button like that. Traditionally, I hold it like this, and I kind of side angle fire it, and it puts pressure in that pin, and it just makes that pin go cockeyed, and it just like jams into place. So as far as the switch goes, it's a complete fail. Yeah, if um, it wasn't for the bottom, I would have yep. no problems. I mean, it took a while before the top Delrin just started became completely loot free. I mean, it's nothing's holding it in. It's barely any resistance at all. It, it's, yep. I don't know if they're just press fit in to start or what, but I mean, it somehow that piece is completely just, it, it falls out. If the battery is not touching it, if it, it's, it's, it's fault, it falls out. And I mean, the bottom part, I mean, if they just put a groove in like a lot of other devices, I'm sure, I, I mean, it would have been so much easier to even put that pin in, you know. Yep. But what are you going to do? You know what? Yeah, quality I mean, assurance on again, that wasn't there. Yeah, yeah I, I, again, quality assurance is a big thumbs down for us, guys. This mod, I mean, let's just be honest. This mod overall, as much as I love it, and I love using it, and I love how it hits, I have to give this mod a big thumbs down because if it doesn't fire every time I hit the button, for me, it's a pain in the butt, and I... I don't want to deal with it. Um, and you know what? Let's be honest. No matter whether it's a clone or an authentic, you shouldn't have to rig it with a gauge needle or glue the Delrin in place. None of that should have to happen. Um, it should just work out of the box. 
So which which is that's... depressing because it was hard. It hits re really hard, you know. Even yes, versus like other twenty six six fifties. I mean, it was hitting phenomenal when it worked. Yes, absolutely. Now, some of the thumbs up for me is I got to tell you guys, along with the thumbs up and the thumbs down on both sides of this fact, the coding, the uh, the coding they put on this mod is very, very. I mean, very durable. Um, it is not scratched. I've dropped it. It's not chipped. Um, it is very durable coating. Problem is, is like never showed you, and mine's exactly the same way, except the very edge of my threads, you can tell they buffed it just a, a, a tad. The threads are completely coated. So the only way yeah. you can get the connectivity that you want is to get your Dremel out with your, your, your soft wire, you know, wire wheel and just get it in there and brush it out. Um, and I'll tell you right now, I have both. The fat, this is the VP Mods version. This is the Fastic version, which I actually just received today, and they are quite identical. Um, there are some small differences. Um, one, the Fastic version has some plating problems around, and actually I'll show you guys, uh, has some plating issues down towards the bottom of where the locking ring uh, goes up and down, and I'm also having threading issues with the, uh, the bottom part of the mod. Let me just take this off. Let me just unscrew the uh, one, lock. The fast tech one? The fast tech version, yes. The, the threads in the bottom are not good at all. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I should have had this ready. But if you look here, you can see the scratches and just the chips in the, the coating. And I literally just got this today. I've used it for about 10 minutes today. Yeah, it's hard to see, but I, I, I can see a little bit in the Hangout. I mean, yep. y you know what? It's, it's, a, it's a mod where I hate to not be able to use it because it hits so well. And, I mean, that's why I always like the Stingrays, you know, the 18650s, because they hit really well. But I, it's out of commission. I mean, I have a couple other mods right now, like the Copper Hades and, you know, the Big Nasty clone that are, that's my, my two that I'm really using the most right now. And, and i got to say, guys, I mean, overall, like I said, there's a lot of issues with the button and stuff like that. But other than the button and the mechanism at the bottom, build quality is pretty pretty good as far as the tube, the coating, the engraving, uh, the top piece. Other than that, you know, the Delrin falling out, which I don't know how I could say it's good quality when it's horrible quality. But the thing for me is I have several 26650s. This device right here replaced all of my 26650s as far as the hardest hitting device that I had uh, up until today. But again, that's for future reviews, um, but that's my take on the Stingray uh, 26650 clone. Uh, Nerva, do you have anything to add? Uh, no, but we'll put a link down to VP Mods, and we'll, you know, and everybody knows where Fast Tech is, but I'll put a link in. Um, I wish they didn't thread, I wish they didn't, you know, coat the threads, with because they did it really good in the coating. The tube feels really good, but it's, you're going to lose conductivity when you, you know, completely cover the threads. What are you gonna do? I mean, you guys can see the vapor. I mean, you guys can see the vapor I'm getting off this thing. And this is just a crown, you know, just a crown. I drilled it out to one eighth, um, and it, it hits really, really well. And this is the same battery I've been in it for about three days. Um, so I mean, it hits really, really well. So, but you know, for me, it's a, eh, but it's also a, eh, and it's kind of a, eh. so I mean, you know, yeah, what are you gonna just, do? It's just down thumbs for me. There, I can't yeah. use it. As as great as it was when it did work for a couple, you know, yep. short period of times, mm -hmm. can't do it if it's not going to be. I would def I would definitely say, Nerva, that I think if you guys do go out and get one of these mods, and again, I want to make sure everybody says this is not, and has nothing to do with VP mods, as Nerva said. They're just the seller. They're the co-op who is selling these devices, and that's part of the risk you take when you buy a new device from a co-op. And so always remember that. Uh, versus a vendor, there's really not a return type policy. It's more of you get what you get and that's kind of the way it is. We remember yeah. too when we got these it, it's VP bots always trying to put the new thing up there so like you, you can't get this from them anymore. You know they're always going to do like one or two runs that's going to be it. But you're getting like some of the new devices. You don't know what China is going to give get you. You don't know. Yep. So like was it here? You, you know is the quality there? It's well built but it doesn't work. So yeah, the function doesn't work right. So, all right. We'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys. Peace. I'm not singing Frozen for the camera.
Are you sure? <clears throat> I'm positive. Seen it in my head. <laughs> what are you singing? Nothing. I know you're trying to trap me, you dog. I know it. <laughs> you're just trying to trap, trap me into it. You're going to do it anyways. You might as well just do it now. I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start the review like this. How about that? I think you should. <laughs> 